Hi there, today we're unboxing a gaming PC. So this particular one is by Cyberpower PC. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So I purchased this over Black Friday. I thought it would complete my gaming setup. So I've got some consoles already and this would be a nice addition and also use it as a workstation as well. The spec of the PC is it's an i7 9700F, has a processor running at three gigahertz, Graphics card wise has an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 with 6 gig of RAM on there. Memory wise has 16 gig of DDR4. Storage wise you've got 120 gig SSD and one terabyte hard disk. So looking at the packaging, comes like this, delivers, not covered in any way. On the box itself it says ultimate gaming system, let's go. Let me have a quick look around the packaging so you get an idea of what it looks like and next let's open it up and see what we get inside okay so i've laid out everything you get in the packaging first of all you've got the actual gaming pc you've got two cards there one important information when you first receive this product and the next is something to do with a gift voucher. Next, you've got a keyboard there and in the box, I'll show you what you get. Okay, let me bring the box in closer and you've got a mouse with that. First of all, a power cable for the US, no good to me. So I've got some spare ones. I can use one of the ones I've got. Next, you've got two Wi-Fi antennas, you've got a remote control and a CD as well with drivers on. Let me show the mouse you receive with this. It's a gaming mouse, number of buttons on there. Doesn't feel too bad from initial impressions. Next, let's take a look at the gaming keyboard. Feels reasonable. Quite a cheapo keyboard really. I didn't expect anything more than that, not planning to use this, just came with the package itself. Next, looking at the actual gaming PC, has a plastic cover at the side, coming around the back, the connections are covered up and it's just highlighting the fact that when you connect the monitor, connect it to the card slot here, just below that, obviously don't use that, they're highlighting. And coming around the other side, obviously all black on that side. On the top itself, got some connection points. And the power button too. And the instructions for quick start guide, first of all, are to remove the packaging that's within there. Let's begin by opening this side panel and taking the packaging out. So four screws holding it in place. Let me loosen them and we can take it off. There's the packaging, chuck that away. And what it recommends in there is just checking some of the cables and just ensuring they haven't come out. So I'll have a quick inspection inside and then I'll show you inside. Okay, I've had a quick check inside and the cables seem fine to me. So let me just quickly show you inside. Motherboard's obviously at the back. You've got the processor here. RAM is just there. Coming around here, graphics card. And just underneath this area, you've got the hard disks. Some additional fans here. So three there and one there. Should all be LED. If you are planning to use Wi-Fi with this PC, then you can just connect the Wi-Fi antennas on there. So just screws straight on and then you can just adjust it into the position you want, like so. Same with the second one. And there you go. Let's make a start at connecting this up. So the cover here, and it's a sticker. If I pull that off, Ethernet port can be connected, connection there. HDMI, as they've highlighted, use the ports up here. Then we can plug in power down here. 
and also I've got the connectors for my wireless keyboard and mouse. There you go. I'll connect the power up and then I'll turn it around and you can see what it's like powered on. Okay, so I've repositioned the PC and let's power it on. There you go, turned on first time. Was a bit nervous in case the motherboard was dead or anything, but looks good so far. I've turned my TV on and as you can see, it's got the setup options now for Windows. So let me run through that and get that completed. Next, let's take a look at noise levels coming out of the gaming PC. So ambient noise in the room when everything's off is around 35 decibels. Now with the cover off on the side, you're gonna get the following. So between 44 and 45 decibels. Next, let's check out noise levels with the cover on the side. So if I go quiet for a moment, So 43.9 decibels, so not too bad. The front and the side of the computer has a plastic sheet on there, so we can take that off now. It's a protective cover on there, just to show, there you go. Next, I can show the remote that comes with this. So there's a selection of colors on there. If I run through them. And then we've got white up there. And if I go to auto, get the full RGB effect on there. Then make it brighter or dimmer, Let's dim it down. Brighten it up again. And if I click that, and then you can speed it up as well if you wanted. Slow it down. And that's the different effects on there. Go to the top one and click auto again. And then if I come in close, you can see there's an off button as well. So you can have it off. And if I turn it back on again, so there you go, very straightforward. Now, looking on the top of the case, you've got a reset button here. Then you've got a headphone jack, microphone jack, the power button. You've got two USB 3 connection points and an indicator for hard disks. Next thing, the case itself, the front can be pulled off. And if I show, that's what you're presented with. And obviously the three fans on there and the colors spinning around. And simple to put back on. We've got some plastic here. Let me peel that off as well. And we'll put that back on. For our next test, what we're gonna do, we're gonna test out boot up time. So we're gonna boot up the PC, we're gonna log in, open up a web browser, and do a search for the word news, and see how quickly that happens. So let's start up now. We log in now. Go to a web browser, type in news, anything, just click it, yeah. There you go. So about 26 and a half seconds. So performance wise, pretty good. Next, let's run a benchmark on the PC. So if I run OpenGL, so this is a graphics card test, and let's give it a moment to complete. So the OpenGL 
performance test has completed and it's giving out 139.98 frames per second. Let's do a test on the CPU next. CPU test is completed now and it's coming in at 1226 CB and looking at the ranking here, it's come in second place. Pretty high result there from what you can see. And if we go back to the OpenGL one, you can see the graphic cards performed really well at that value. So performance wise, very good. For our next test, we're gonna stream a YouTube video running at 4K. So this is from our travels channel. And just to show running off YouTube, if I go here in the settings, you can see it's running at the highest resolution there. There you go, works very well. And not surprisingly, obviously, performance of the machine is really good. Hence, it's not gonna struggle with something like this. Next, I'm gonna be testing out Fortnite with this PC. So, first of all, display settings wise, we're on 4K and performance is not very good. So we're getting 18 frames per second. Let's move around a bit, give a bit of activity. 16 to 18, so not really impressive under those conditions. Now, if I come into settings and we change it now, let's flip over to 1080p. So if I now apply those settings, we'll keep them, so you say yes to that, and go back, and that's better. So under 4K, you get about 18 frames per second, and under 1080p Full HD, you get around 100 frames per second. So more usable, definitely, under 1080p. Now, I'm a little bit surprised by that. I thought it may be able to cope, but I guess it can't. For our next test, we're gonna test out Euro Truck Simulator. So just to show a few things, so if I go to settings, go to graphics, I just wanted to highlight the fact we've got it on the highest ultra setting on there. Now, if I come out of that and we go to drive, and just to show the realism you're given, if we look at the steering wheel, it's actually vibrating giving the impression like a truck and the engine's running. So I've got the shifter here and my keyboard here and I can just flip between the different views. And let's give it a go of driving this. Okay, so here we go. Feels very good. The fact that it's even vibrating, I think that just gives that extra realism to it. Obviously the shifter's working as well, so maxed out at first gear, second now, flip the views. Very nice. And again, graphics wise, obviously because the PC is a good spec, you get the ultra level of detail on there. It's a very nice feel to it. And graphically, very realistic. You can see the wing mirrors either side as well. Obviously, I've enabled those. Okay, so now we've got Forza in action here. And Performance wise with the PC, it's very good, doesn't seem to be struggling in any way. And immersive feel feels very good, obviously with the steering wheel shifter and the pedals give that realistic effect to it. Next, just to give a closer look at the PC connection points and 
the lights running on there together with the fans I put a light shining onto the inside of it just to give you a clear idea components inside very nice and tidy ample space in there as well build quality wise it does seem quite good okay so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this gaming pc from cyberpower pc comes in under the thousand pound mark performance wise i think it's pretty good for your money in terms of looks looks great a couple of things to note obviously it doesn't have a card reader on there or a dvd rom or a cd rom on there i was aware of that just obviously i'm highlighting that in case you didn't notice but i think you've got good value here from what you're getting and great performance so there you go hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this details are in the description below thanks for viewing and don't forget to like comment and subscribe